Okay, awesome. So um, today we will uh, start out with just a few minutes on some general tips for grocery shopping. Um, and then we'll kind of dig into some of the fun stuff of looking at some specific product highlights from certain stores and then, um, you know, kind of putting it all together, what you can do for some uh, meals with these uh, products. So uh, for starters, grocery shopping, um, I assume we're all here because we all want to be smarter grocery shoppers. Um, and it really does start with this like shopping process. You know, what we buy influences what we eat and all of the nutrition and kind of ease that goes along with that. So I um, just thought we'd just share, share a few basic tips. Um, first of all, sounds intuitive, but I always recommend people make a list. Um, and then a couple kind of caveats with that. Um, I actually recommend people organize their list by aisle, like in the order that you're going to walk through the store. Um, the reason being, if you do everything kind of clustered, you're going to be less likely to like meander and find, you know, kind of tempting foods or whatever. Um, so kind of sticking by the aisle is helpful. Um, and then my next tip for, you know, making a list is that we, uh, we stick to it, which sounds obvious but what I mean by that is if you're like at the store and you see on the aisle there's like you know a package of cookies or whatever um, it's not saying that you can't buy them but put it on your list for next week like start making your list for the following week the day you go grocery shopping um, because that'll help you kind of add like an extra layer of like removal so you can really be more intentional about it and if by the time your next shopping trip comes around and it's still on your list you can intentionally buy it um, but you've had the choice that way and you've been a little more mindful about it, if that makes sense. Um, my second tip, so you've probably heard the, the common phrase, shop the perimeter. Um, I don't necessarily actually agree with that phrase because I think that the interior of the grocery store also has plenty of good options, um, which is what we'll largely be talking about. Um, but instead, the way that I like to put it is travel the perimeter. So when you're going between aisles, instead of like cutting through to take the shortest route, just go to the end of the aisle and then travel on the outside and come back in. Um, because that'll really, you know, again, cut out unnecessary meandering in places that you weren't necessarily planning on going, um, but it still is letting you, you know, move about the store. Um, I would say the same thing would go for online too, like doing this system of organizing it by category and really sticking to it um, and not kind of like dappling in the like, ooh, look at this fun featured product at the bottom of the page, um, you know, saving it for another time. Uh, my third tip uh, is to just get comfortable scanning labels. Um, I actually don't really uh, read labels very thoroughly in the store. There are five things that I look for um, and I just do a quick glance. And if I notice these five things, that's kind of how I will decide, you know, if one product is gonna be better for, um, this trip or if I should save it for next time or if I just don't need it at all. Um, and those five things I look for are um, saturated fat, sodium, and added sugar. We want those to all be low um, and here's where they you can see on the slide that's what they look like on the label. And then the fourth thing I look for is fiber. We want there to be a uh, high fiber. And then the fifth thing I look for um, is this word hydrogenated. Um, hydrogenated is the sneaky way that food manufacturers get trans fat into our food. So you'll see, for example, on this label, trans fat says zero, um, but in fact, uh, there could still be some in there. They're just allowed to round. So um, if you see the word hydrogenated, I usually avoid it. Um, that's pretty much it for the labels, just giving it, you know, quick glance, getting in the habit, not taking a ton of time to look at it, but enough to get the basis. Um, and then finally, my fifth tip is to beware of buzzwords. Um, so these might be things like, you know, organic, non-GMO, low sugar, low salt, whatever. There's nothing wrong with these products and there are certainly, you know, their own merits to eating that way. Um, but it, a lot of times it's just a marketing ploy. <laughs> like if something, for example, says like, you know, low and added sugar, they're trying to get you to take notice of it and buy it on an impulse because you think it's healthier for you when really the same principle should apply of actually thinking about the choice and being intentional about it. Any questions or any other tips you guys have on grocery shopping before we uh, get into some of the fun stuff? I guess uh, just a question about 
uh, sodium, like what would be an appropriate amount and what should be uh, send it out of your cart or not into your cart because it's too much? Great question. Um, so sodium, a lot of it varies based on medical conditions. Um, Y'all prob probably have heard about the relationship between sodium and heart health, um, specifically blood pressure. So if you have a medical condition um, that requires you to limit sodium, I would recommend keeping it under you know, 300 milligrams for a given food item. Um, as a rule of thumb, of course, you know, working, you can always work with me one-on-one -on -one if you want to tailor that even more. Um, but that's just kind of a general rule. If you don't have any current, uh, like cardiac conditions or anything like that, um, you can be a little bit more flexible. Um, one other kind of guideline I use is if the calories are higher than the sodium, then it, it's a high sodium food. Um, and it, it can fit, but you just need to compensate somewhere else or you might just choose to not get it at all. Um, does that answer your question, Lori? Awesome. Yeah, I really like talking about sodium. So if any of you ever wanna work on your blood pressure, let me know. <laughs> okay, fun time. Let's talk about some grocery products. Um, so I've kind of organized this like into different food categories and then within each food category going into just some easy quick options. Um, some of them I've put brands with, some of them I've put stores, some of them are just very widely available and kind of general. Um, it's, you know, not an inclusive list. So just because it's not here doesn't mean I don't recommend it, of course, but um, just some kind of ideas to get you started. So when it comes to produce, um, of course, fresh produce is awesome, but that doesn't always work for everybody super easily. So um, a few kind of other quick options. Um, I really love salad kits. Um, they've got everything you need right there. They've got the greens, they've got the lettuce, they've got, or I'm sorry, the dressing, um, and sometimes some toppings that you can put on it too. Um, so it's a really easy way to make stir fries or to just make a really you know bulky salad. Um, Similarly, buying slaw, like slaw kits, um, broccoli slaw, coleslaw, all of these things are also super easy. They're already pre-cut, pre-shred, um, go-tos. Uh, also pre-cut and shredded items. So like here, I've got shredded carrots, for example. Um, a really easy way to just like throw carrots into sauces is when you don't have to do any cooking with it, right? You just add it to the salad, add it to whatever you're doing. Um, and a third thing for fresh, um, specifically with Costco, one thing is you can buy like bulk fresh produce and then freeze it. Um, I like to give the example of Costco berries because it's actually a lot cheaper if you buy bulk berries at Costco and then just freeze them. Um, they also, of course, have, you know, frozen berries, but it's just like one more um, thing. If you're willing to take the time to do it, you can save some extra dollars. Um, as far as frozen goes, I'm a huge advocate of frozen produce. There is nothing nutritionally wrong with frozen produce. Um, it, it's perfectly healthy for you. The nutrients don't suffer. You're still getting good nutrition. It's just a lot easier. Um, so doing things like, you know, stir fry mixes or mixed veggies. Um, again, Costco has some really great mixes. Um, specifically, they have a really good stir fry mix. They also have kind of just like a, a medley mix, um, a lot of different ones. Um, doing steamer bags. So I've got one here. The Bird's Eye brand has um, quite a few options and so does Green Giant. Um, and usually like your, you know, Kroger, Safeway brands, those kinds of things. Um, a lot of different options. You can just pop it in the microwave and call it good. Um, my new favorite product from Costco is a frozen diced avocado, <laughs> which I love avocado. It's a great heart healthy fat but I hate choosing avocados because there's such a narrow window, right? Like it's either too hard or too mushy, but if you buy frozen pre-cut avocados, it's so much easier. Um, I will say if you do do that, I would recommend putting some lime juice on it if you're like thawing it and bringing it to work, that'll help prevent browning. Um, but yeah, frozen avocados, love it. And then, um, also, again, some mixed fruit, mixed berries. Costco is a great option for that. Um, and then similarly, canned products. Um, again, nothing wrong with canned produce. Don't be afraid of it. Um, I would say if you're choosing canned produce to look for one that either says no salt added um, or that looking at that glance at the label, making sure that it doesn't have um, any sodium in it other than what's naturally occurring. 
Um, so, you know, keeping it under the calories, that rule of thumb. Um, but you can get a lot of things canned, like, you know, tomatoes and corn and peas and green beans, um, mushrooms even. Like, there are tons of different canned fruits if you actually spend some time in the aisle and, like, looking at all the products. I think you might be surprised what you can get canned. Okay, anything on produce before we move on? Sweet. So now we'll talk about um, meat and seafood. Um, start with poultry because there are like so many poultry options. Um, so frozen, doing uh, freezer bags of like chicken breasts or grilled chicken. Um, here we've got an example from Tyson, some like grilled ready to eat chicken um, that Costco also does too. And then chicken patties, like um, chicken burgers, that kind of thing work really well for salads, for stir fries, for just cutting it up, eating it. Um, we've got grilled chicken skewers. Um, again, the example I give is Costco just because they have a good price on this. Um, really easy because it's not a freezer one, it's just kept in the refrigerated section. So um, it's, you don't have to thaw it or anything, you can just put it on a salad, put it in, you know, whatever. Um, canned chicken. I like to uh, weird people out with this one, but it's not that weird. <laughs> so canned chicken is totally fine to eat. Um, I would recommend rinsing it first um, just to get some of the extra salt that they use to package it off of it. But after you've done that, there's nothing wrong with canned chicken. Um, and it's actually super easy if you wanna put it in things like a chicken salad or like a crock pot soup, or, you know, it's just, it's already pre-cooked for you and pre-shredded. So it's super, you know, easy to work with. Um, and then chicken sausage. I really personally like Trader Joe's. Um, their chicken sausage, they've got a lot of good options and they don't have a lot of um, things added to them. So um, I would check those out. And then of course the classic Costco chicken, uh, rotisserie chicken is just a bargain and super delicious. <laughs> um, moving on to kind of more like meats. So deli meats, um, a couple good brands I wrote here Private Selection, which you can get at Kroger stores, and then Applegate, which you can get at um, Kroger stores and Safeway stores and those kind of places. Um, those two brands don't add um, nitrates, which is um, an additive that a lot of lunch meats have. So good, good brands to look for. Uh, frozen meatballs, Costco's got awesome price on that. Um, and Trader Joe's has these fun little like party mini meatballs um, that are fun to just, you know, put in soups or put in your crock pot and cook in a sauce or something. Um, I also put Costco ground beef on here because uh, they test their, their ground beef every batch to make sure that it is in a certain fat content range. So if you're concerned about saturated fat or if you have like a heart condition or anything like that, um, I'd recommend uh, Costco's got some good quality there. And then for fish and seafood, no surprise, Costco, again, has awesome frozen stuff. Um, their shrimp is awesome. They've got a lot of different types of fish. You can get salmon patties. Um, and then as far as tuna goes, I think tuna is a really underutilized um, food, but it's really awesome um, because you get a lot of protein and you also get some omega-3s, which is good for your heart. Um, so canned tuna, pouch tuna is totally fine. Um, I put a couple brands here that I would recommend, um, Wild Caught and um, Safe Catch. Um, they specifically do more strict mercury testing. So if you're worried about mercury in your tuna, um, these two brands tend to be a little more reliable. Um, and again, for those who joined late, um, I'll reiterate, the slides are going to be available too. So um, don't worry if you feel like you're having to like write all this down. You'll, you'll get all of the slides. Um, dairy and eggs, awesome, great protein foods too. So I put up a few different yogurt brands here. Um, Greek yogurt is high in protein. These particular brands that I put up are also low in added sugar. Um, so uh, in Costco sells in giant packs, these uh, Oikos and then the Chobani. Um, and you can get two good pretty much everywhere else. Um, good options there. Icelandic yogurt is also very high in protein and very low in sugar. Um, so here's a couple brands I'd recommend there um, if you're looking for something a little different. Uh, cheese, so you can buy those little like pre-made snack squares, um, which I think I put a picture up, or string cheese. Costco's got Tillamook snack squares. I'm like a fiend for Tillamook cheese and they've got everything there. 
um, you know, shredded, block sliced, all the good stuff. Um, and as you probably already know, TJ's, uh, Trader Joe's has really great, like fancy cheeses, like, you know, goat cheese and Gouda and all that exciting stuff. If you're looking for a little flair in your life. Um, and then for eggs, I put on a couple different like easy go-to breakfast things. So um, there are these like bowls where you just add the egg or it's already pre-made into a scramble. Um, or Ida makes one and then Jimmy Dean. And then also buying um, egg white patties in the freezer section. Um, so if you're making like a breakfast sandwich, you could, you know, put it on an English muffin and you don't have to cook the egg. It's just already cooked, but it's frozen. So some pretty cool egg options. Um, other protein foods. So canned beans. I'm a huge fan of beans. They have a lot of great fiber, a lot of great protein. Um, again, I would just recommend choosing one that doesn't have a lot of salt added to it um, if it's in a can. My favorite brand of refried beans is the Trader Joe's uh, black refried beans. They are super delicious um, if anyone likes those. And then lentils are often an underutilized legume. Lots of good protein and fiber in there too. So Trader Joe's makes these like pre-cooked steamed pouches and all you have to do is heat it in the microwave for a few minutes and you've got some good tasty lentils. And Costco sells um, the Tasty Bite Indian lentils that are already in a sauce. So it's a really easy one to just like put on rice and eat. Uh, soy protein, I love soy protein because it's, it's a complete plant-based protein. So if you're, you know, vegetarian or vegan, really great way to get some protein in without meat. Um, Kirkland at Costco, they make a great unsweetened soy milk, doesn't have added sugar. Um, edamame, again, Costco sells these like massive packs where you can buy little microwave pouches of the edamame. It's good for snacks. And then um, the brand House Foods makes an awesome cubed tofu. It's like already cut for you. So all you have to do is like toss it in your soup or your salad or whatever, um, and it's a lot easier than having to like, you know, drain out all the water and then deal with cutting it. Um, meat alternatives, we've got black bean burgers, sausage patties, all sorts of good stuff from um, Morningstar. They make some great things. Costco has a really good prices on both of these. Um, and then another thing that I've been playing with more lately are these like meatless products. Um, so this brand Gardein here, they make these like fake ground beef crumbles. Um, it's not beyond, so it's not as expensive um, and it's frozen. So like all you have to do is add the crumbles to your spaghetti sauce or to your taco meat or whatever. Um, and they make, you know, meatball forms of it and just all sorts of different alternative meat products. And then I put a couple different protein powders here too. Um, these are plant-based protein powders too, if anyone is um, needing something that's uh, vegetarian friendly. Um, and they're also available at Costco and Kroger stores. So they're pretty good high quality proteins um, and they have a lot of fiber in them too. So that's always fun. Okay, talking about grains. So um, breads, uh, you, as you may have figured out, Costco has a ton of bread. Um, they have my two favorite breads there too, which is the Dave's Killer Seed and um, the Franz Nine Grain. They're both whole grain. They both have a lot of fiber and protein in them. So um, if you're looking to incorporate bread, those are great options. Um, Trader Joe's actually has my favorite whole wheat um, other products like hamburger buns, hot dog buns, um, English muffins, that kind of a thing. They have a really good whole wheat line. Um, so that's a good place to look. And then also pita and flatbreads. I also really like Trader Joe's for those. They've got a lot of options um, in different, you know, whole wheat versus not. So a fun place. Um, rices. I like to promote frozen rices because if you're like me, I hate waiting for rice to cook. <laughs> it's super long. So all you have to do is pop one of these steamer bags in the microwave and there you have rice and it's amazing. Um, and then also of course Costco's got those um, the brown rice quinoa bags that you've probably seen. Um, breakfast, I put a few brands here for low sugar, um, high fiber cereals, Kashi, um, just the plain Cheerios, not the like, you know, honey nut or whatever. Uh, Kodiak Cakes is a Costco classic. You get the high fiber, high protein pancakes. They also make a line of oatmeal that is sold at most stores in these little individual cups. So it's a pretty easy go-to morning food. Um, and then also Better Oats is another good brand for oatmeal. Uh, tortillas. Okay, so tortillas, 
My thing with tortillas is uh, most products actually have that, that word we talked about, hydrogenated oils, um, way back in the beginning. And it's super annoying because tortillas are awesome, um, but it is something that you want to scan the label for. So the brands that I've found that don't have hydrogenated oils um, are the Trader Joe's brand, the Whole Foods brand, um, Mission Organic. Regular Mission has hydrogenated oils, but the organic line for some reason doesn't, which is awesome. And then Cerrito is another brand that you can get at um, Kroger stores. And then, uh, oh yeah, my last favorite grain. Uh, Trader Joe's has a good pizza dough. Just throwing that out there. It's pretty tasty. Okay, pantry staples. So um, lots of good oils. I always recommend people choose oils that are liquid at room temperature because that means that they have more um, heart healthy fats. Um, so things like avocado or olive or canola. Um, sesame is a great oil too. It's got a lot of omega-3s in it. So really good for your heart. Um, and then also choosing uh, avocado mayo, this brand chosen foods here that they sell at Costco. Um, they make, um, I mean, avocado oil and avocado mayo, so it's pretty cool. Um, it's a good alternative. It's more heart healthy. Sauces, um, Trader Joe's. I get a lot of sauces at Trader Joe's because um, they're very tasty. Uh, they have a good pizza sauce. It's already um, in the refrigerated section, so you can just make your own pizzas at home or use it for a dipping sauce. Um, they have a good peanut vinaigrette for salads and stir fries, and they also have a really good enchilada sauce. And Trader Joe's has like spices galore. They have just tons there um, that are really versatile. Um, my favorite ones are everything but the bagel and everything but the leftovers because you can just toss it on your, your steamer veggies and there you've got like some, you know, relatively tasty, easy vegetables. And then also condiments. Um, I recommend people look at Trader Joe's for condiments because as a store, they don't use high fructose corn syrup. Um, it's, it goes against their um, company policy. So all of their um, ketchups, all their barbecue sauces, all that stuff don't have it, which is super awesome. And we are on the last part, which is snacks, my favorite thing. Um, I'm a huge advocate of nuts and seeds and trail mixes for snacks. I think they're a great way to get in some extra fiber and nutrition. Um, I wrote down a lot of different options for you here, so sorry if it's overwhelming. Um, we've got, you know, pre-portioned options. We've got trail mixes. Um, wrote down a couple brands there for you that are lower in added sugar. Um, Archer Farms is the Target brand, actually. Uh, Target is my favorite place for trail mix because they have a lot of different options. Um, Bulk nuts, make your own trail mix. Um, nut butters. So my favorite butter lately is this Kirkland mixed nut and seed butter. It's got a lot of omega-3 in it um, and a lot of fiber. Um, so it's, it's more nutritious than, um, you know, other nut butters. Um, that being said, I also love peanut butter. Uh, peanut butter is one of those things, though, that you also want to be careful of the hydrogenated oils. It's tortilla and peanut butter. Um, so doing that label, label scan, looking for that word, I put out some brands here that don't use hydrogenated oils, but pretty much any of the natural peanut butters um, are going to be fine. Um, chia seeds, awesome. Ground flax seed. Uh, there's some brands there too for you. And then Costco also sells this fun like salad seed topper. I don't know if you've seen it, um, but it's kind of like its own trail mix, but it's seed based. And then dried fruit, also great for trail mix. Um, here are a few options. Trader Joe's and Costco have good options for that. Um, just making sure you're looking at the added sugar on the label. And also for snack, we've got some fun dips. Um, Costco's got some uh, great, you know, single serve hummus cups and guacamole cups. Um, I really like the Trader Joe's hummus. I just think it tastes really good. Um, Kirkland also has a good salsa. Um, for chips, the Kirkland brand of tortilla chips actually has lower sodium than any other brand that I've found. So if you're worried about sodium but you love tortilla chips, I'd go for that. Um, and then there's a few different multi-grain kind of cracker chip type things here um, that have good fiber in them. A few different bars for protein. Um, the Kirkland brand is definitely very high protein. It's a little chalky tasting to be honest, but a lot of people don't mind that if it means they're getting a lot of protein. 
Um, and then RX bar and kind are also ones that don't use a lot of um, sugar. So, and then I had to put on my favorite chocolate. Um, I really, really love the Trader Joe's dark chocolate 85% and I always have it in my desk. It just satisfies that craving when you need it. Um, they've got a lot of great chocolate products there. And then Theo that you can buy at other grocery stores are also a, a good quality chocolate manufacturer. So we've got just a few minutes left, um, which is why I'll be sending you the slides um, because these are kind of just some, an overview of you know, some pairings you could do with the specific foods we talked about. Um, I put down a few different salad options using those like bag kits and frozen veggies and like frozen protein sources, that kind of a thing. Um, so you can look through these when I um, send you the slides. Sandwiches and wraps too. Um, again, using those those tortillas and the breads. Um, there's you know using the hummus and the avocado mayo, um, the the lunch meats. Um, a chicken salad wrap. Again, using that canned chicken. Um, that's not that weird. <laughs> so you can use mix it with the avocado mayo, make it into a salad, um, and serve it up um, in a wrap. Some stir fries, um, again, really utilizing those frozen veggies, those frozen rice kits, um, you know, the frozen protein sources, the chicken, the shrimp. Um, for a vegetarian option, using those like steamer lentils um, that Trader Joe's makes already cooked or the Costco pre-cooked one. Um, lots of good stir fry options. I had to put a pizza slide on um, because again, Trader Joe's makes a fabulous pizza dough. Um, it's already made, you just spread it out, you just buy their sauce, put it on it, buy some frozen toppings, frozen vegetables, pineapple, if you're that kind of a person on the right side of history. Um, or, you know, you could put chicken sausage or these like, you know, frozen chicken, um, the grilled chicken stuff, lots of great options for pizza. Um, also, the whole wheat English muffin makes really great pizza snack. Um, I don't know if any of you saw the recipe we posted over the summer about doing that, but it's a super easy freezer friendly. You can just make a batch of English muffins, turn them into little pizzas and put them in your freezer and just pull it out when you don't have time to cook dinner that night. Pastas, um, you can use noodles or the pre-frozen like spiralized noodles. They sell those in the zucchini and butternut squash form. Um, again, using, you know, the meatless products, the crumbles, um, you could put, you know, a shrimp pesto, um, lots of pasta things you could do. And finally, uh, Mexican foods. So rotisserie chicken works amazing for making like burritos, fajitas, that kind of a thing. Um, one other thing I'll highlight on here is, again, the canned chicken. Um, you can actually cook it in the Trader Joe's barbecue sauce, like um, just saute it in there for a little bit, and it's a super good taco. Um, and then put some bagged slaw on it, and it's a very easy but delicious dinner. Awesome. Um, if anyone has any questions, I will stay on the line a little bit longer, but we are at 1230, so if you need to hop off, no worries. Um, yeah, does anyone have any 